Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. And if you've been following me on Twitter, I talked about this game here. Uh, I was talking about how uh, there was a, a game on Switch that made me buy a PC game uh, from Poland. <laughs> and this is it right here. Um, this game is called Observer. If you guys know me, I am a huge fan of like tech noir or um, cyberpunk. Uh, not just video games, but the medium in general, like storytelling and movies. You know, I love, uh, you know, any movie that deals with like cyberpunk type of uh, aesthetics, like a Johnny Mnemonic or um, Blade Runner. Uh, so this game is right up that alley. And obviously it's funny because a character from Blade Runner is actually in it. Rector Hauer is uh, the star of the game. So that's pretty cool. Um, here's a look at the back of it. Let's uh, get it closer and get a little focus here. Um, this game is, like I said, it's like, it's an 80s setting, uh, but futuristic. So this is something that you would see, uh, basically in the early 80s, uh, early to mid 80s, uh, in movies, you have that, you know, still looking like it's the 80s, but like with futuristic tech, you know, so, um, so let's go ahead and, like I said, this is the, uh, limited edition or special edition, uh, for the game. I wanted a physical copy. I actually ended up buying the game on um i bought it on steam uh i got it for like four bucks i got a nice discount on it and i was like you know i really like the game and so i looked it up and there is a physical copy obviously right here uh this looks really nice um and so i went out and copped it it was only about 24 dollars all said and done american uh well it wasn't american it was polish but it converted to about that and so i was like this is no brainer you know because it comes with all this cool stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, peel this bad boy off here and uh, get a look inside of what's happening. And like I said, this game uh, was initially something I saw on Switch. I was I like buying games on Switch that nobody's talking about. Uh, basically, a lot of the stuff that comes over late uh, from PC, and this is one of those games. Uh, I think it's also on con other consoles as well, but this is definitely a more PC-feeling game. And uh, so I... I looked it up and it was like, oh, the performance wasn't as good on Switch. And for this type of game, it's kind of cinematic. I, I didn't want any hiccups or any weird things. And so I just said, well, screw it. I'll, I'll buy the, the PC version. And uh, so here you go. Here is the the uh, game uh, itself. Uh, like I said, it's a special edition. So it comes with uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, here's the game. Uh, you saw the back of the main box and whatnot that I just pulled it out of, so nothing uh, special there. It's all in Polish, like I said, but the game itself, uh, you can uh, play it in English, so um, it's English uh, voiceover and uh, text, so no problem there. Um, and this beautiful uh, art book that I got uh, in this edition was definitely a, the thing that kind of pushed me over because, I, like, again, I, I love... The visual aesthetics of cyberpunk tech noir and yes if i can get an art book about you know a game that's set there there you go rutger hauer right there and uh some of the other characters I actually don't want to look too much into this because um i haven't gotten that far in the game yet i think i played it for about five hours or so and i like to take my time with these kinds of games i explore everything every nook and every cranny some people play the game just to beat it but i like to especially a game like this i like to explore the world as much as i can and uh you know see what i can see so uh, we'll get into that in a minute let's <laughs> I have to pull out my uh trusty uh tool kit here to open this plastic it seems like it's titanium plastic so i have to pull out the tool kit so we can rip this bad boy up and, and like I said, I always try to get the physical copy if I can get it. I, I was going to get this game on Switch, but like I said, I looked up uh, reviews of it and they were talking about performance issues and uh, stuff like that. And I didn't want that uh, to be the case in a game like this where you're in a world, you know. So I'm going to hide the uh, code here because I'm going to give this code away. Like I said on Twitter, um, um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I'm going to give this code away uh, <clears throat> to people who respond uh, to my stipulations, which is follow me on Twitter. And uh, that way I'll be able to send the code in a direct message to you. And uh, 
uh, or something like that. Just because I, I want a person who actually wants this type of game to get it, not just some random person to get the code and never even play the game. I want somebody who's actually going to play it. And like I said, this is a really cool game. Uh, if you if you like the Batman Arkham stuff where you're doing detective stuff um, or you like scanning in Metroid Prime, there's a lot of that kind of stuff in this game here. I don't know why I'm trying to show this poster. There's no way without totally changing my camera angle, which I'm not going to do all that. But um, if you like that kind of stuff, there's that's a, there's a lot of that in this game. Um, some people think it's a horror game, but it's not really. It's more of a, a thriller. So there is some scares and whatnot. It's definitely uh, some creepy at some times, but at some points. But it's more of a thriller type of game where you're like uncovering a mystery. You play a detective. Um, I think it's basically a mystery of your your son's been missing forever and you think he was dead and all of a sudden he calls you out of the blue and you go on this mystery to try to figure out what's happened to him and where he is and stuff so uh love these types of games um you know uh the more the cinematic uh exploration detective uh, kind of stuff where you're figuring out stuff you're looking at clues and uh really nice world building really uh, intricate world they built for this game and it, you know it's for the most part a somewhat simple game but it, there's a lot of uh, nuance there's a lot of uh, uh, complexity to the world so definitely appreciate that so this game like I said it is on switch if you want to pick it up on switch uh, I don't remember what it costs I think it's around $40 if I'm not mistaken uh, it's probably cheaper than that because I bought like I said this PC version limited edition for less than 30 so I can imagine it's more than 30 it's probably 30 and like I said if you want a copy of this game I'm giving out a steam code of this game but you have to follow me on Twitter and um, hashtag you know observer you have to put that in a message to me uh, direct or not a direct message to me but a tag me in a message and put observer and then I'll pick the names uh, basically out of a hat and decide who I'm going to give it to. And I'll announce it on Twitter and I'll give the code there. So um, I'm going to put some gameplay of this game uh, if you're interested in that. So just hang on for that. Yeah. So let's check it out. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become... I would not have believed them. KPD? Anyone in there? I am what they fear. A corporate tool of oppression. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you. To gather evidence. To dredge up whatever is hiding in the darkest. 